Since the 1940s, the United States government has worked hard to keep otherworldly flying craft as far from the public mind as possible. Declassified documents show the government was taking these crafts seriously the whole time. But if something ever made the news, it was usually because officials had a mundane explanation. And yet, multiple reports exist throughout the decades which struggle to explain a variety of sightings. For example, a 1949 declassified FBI memo describes a series of intrusions into the airspace of atomic weapons research sites in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Objects were seen there often traveling silently, but faster than seven and a half miles per second. To put that in perspective, that's 27,000 miles per hour. Fast forward to 2004, and NASA's X-43 scramjet sets the world record of just 7,000 miles per hour. That same year, Navy jet fighter pilots were training when a group of unidentified objects descended at over 24,000 miles per hour to meet them. The pilots tried to intercept these craft which looked like giant tic-tac candies, but they disappeared as quickly as they came. As usual, the public remained in the dark about the encounters until defense officials mysteriously started opening up, and to a rock guitarist from Blink-182 no less. He met with a multi-star general at a U.S. Air Force installation in the desert, he said. The general tasked 10 high-ranking advisors to help him and his company to the Stars Academy push for more disclosure on the UFO subject. Finally, in 2017 and 2018, to the Stars gained access to and released three pieces of jet fighter infrared camera footage tracking unidentified vehicles over the ocean. At the same time, the New York Times and Washington Post also shared the videos and started talking about UFOs. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. 